Police identify suspect who surrendered after claiming to have a bomb near U.S. Capitol. Police have identified the suspect as 49-year-old Floyd Ray Roseberry. The incident prompted multiple buildings in the area to be evacuated Thursday as authorities responded to an active bomb threat investigation the U.S. Capitol Police wrote on Twitter. Roseberry drove a black pickup truck onto the sidewalk in front of the Library of Congress at 9.15 a.m. Eastern Time, claiming he had a bomb and displayed what looked like a detonator to the officer on the scene, according to U.S. Capitol Police Chief Tom Manger. Negotiators were in communication with the suspect and were trying to come to a resolution Manger told reporters at a press conference near the Capitol. Manger said the suspect had been live-streaming, but added we don't have much information about him at this time. We don't know what his motives are at this time, he said. The Senate and House are not in session, and most lawmakers are not currently in their offices. The Supreme Court was also evacuated on the recommendation of U.S. Capitol Police, according to a spokesperson for the court, which is closed to the public because of COVID-19. The FBI said in a statement that its Washington field office's National Capital Response Squad was responding to the incident. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives was also responding, the agency said on Twitter. President Joe Biden has been briefed on the bomb threat on Capitol Hill, according to a White House official, who said the president is receiving regular updates from law enforcement on the matter. This story has been updated with additional information. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.